This video is over area of trapezoids, so let's look at our number routine. Write and solve an equation to find the height of the triangle. So we know that the area formula is half times base times height. The base, the base is 7. We don't know this height, and we know the area is 14. So I substitute the area with 14. The base is 7. The height we do not know at this time. So what is half of 7? 3 and 5 tenths, or 3 and a half times height. Again, how do you solve this equation? You need to isolate h. What is the inverse of multiply? Divide. We balance it on the other side. So what is 14 divided by 3 and 5 tenths? Let me use a different pen color. Again, you move the decimal one over. We like to work with whole numbers. Move this one over. So it's really 140 divided by 35. Now what is 140 divided by 35? 135 goes into 140. Hmm. 35, 70. Exa oh, exactly four times. So the height is four inches. So on page 64, I would like you to copy down these polygons. Name two things that make them alike and two things that make them different. Hmm. They look like alike. They both look like they have the same height. Alike. They have a two a base and a base. Like here's a base, here's a base. If you flip it over, base and base. And I see diagonal lines. What makes them different? Well, these are parallel, parallel. This one is also parallel, but this one is not parallel. So with a highlighter, I would like you to highlight the parallel lines and label the polygon names. So let me take out my highlighter. I'll use screen. This is called a parallelogram. This is called a trapezoid. We've already studied what parallelogram is. So and here, this is parallel. This is one set of parallel. Here is parallel. But in a parallelogram, there is another set of parallel lines. Hence, but in the trapezoid, this is not parallel. These would be intersecting. So a parallelogram is made up of more than one set of parallel lines. It has two sets. Well, a trapezoid just has one. So here are more examples of trapezoid. This is a this is a trapezoid, has parallel, one set. This has one set of parallel lines. This would not be parallel. So we're going to be finding the area of a trapezoid. To find the area of a trapezoid, oh, before we do that, um, we could do our number routine. Actually, I'm going to skip this one. Um, let's just go straight to the area of a trapezoid. The area is the average of the two base lengths, base 1, base 2. Then you do times the height and half of it. So we're finding the average of the two bases. That's why we're dividing by 2. We're adding up, divide by 2, then you multiply by the height of it. So, for example, you, a trapezoid has a base length of 6 meters and 4 meters and is 3 meters high. Write and solve an equation to find the area of the trapezoid. So, we see half of the basis times the height. So, I replace the base 1 and base 2 with 6 and 4. We add it up. Half of 10 is 5 times the height of 3 is 15 square meters. So number one, let me use my pen. Oh, let me highlight. What are the two bases? Well, this is a base. If we turn the board, turn the polygon upside down, that would be the other base. What are the height of this? Again, height is standing straight up. So let me get my calligraphy pen. The bases are 10 and 12, and the height is 8. Now, write and solve an equation. 
So let me use my letter code here. So the equation is A equal half of the basis B1 plus B2 times the height. So I replace the B1 and B2 with 10 plus 12, and the height is 8. So what's half of 10 plus 12? Well, first of all, 10 plus 12 is 22. So half of 22 is 11, 11 times 8. So the area equals 88 squared inches. Again, you add up the two bases, half of it times the height. Let's try another example. What are his two bases? Let me get my highlighter. The two bases are 10 and 16. The height of this, the height, ooh, is completely vertical. So it's 10. So write and solve and using the write and solve an equation to find the area of the trapezoid. So it's area equals half of the basis, sum of the basis, times the height. So the two bases are 10 and 16. The height is 10. If you add up the basis, you get 26. And the height is 10. What's half of 26? 13. 13 times 10 is 130 units squared, or square units. That's the area of this trapezoid. So again, you add up the two bases. That's why I got 10 plus 16. Half of that number, 13. Then you multiply by its height. And number three, to find the area of the trapezoid to solve the problem with the solution of 128 square centimeters. Did two answer this question correctly? If not, write and solve an equation to find the area of the trapezoid. Let's see. He added the two bases, 20 and 6. Then he multiplied by his height. Are we missing something here? Oh, he forgot to do half. Oh, shame on him. He forgot to do half of the basis times the height. Half of the basis times the height. So half of 26 is 13 times the height of 10. So the area should be 130 square centimeter. He was so close. And a lot of kids do that. They forget to do half of it. You're finding the average of the basis. And let's do our last problem, number four. The area of this trapezoid is 78 square units. The bases are 5 meters and 8 meters. What is the height? Ooh. Write and solve an equation. So let's write it. So area equal half. B, B, B1 plus base 2 times height. So we know the area is 78. We know the two bases are 5 and 8. But we don't know the height. So if I add up the bases, I get 13. What's half of 13? 7.5. Right. So again, how do you solve this equation? How do you solve for h? You have to do the inverse operation of multiply with divide. Divide. And this cancels, so we balance it out on the other side. So what is 78 divided by 7 to 5 tenths? So where's my other clicker pen? Again, I don't know about you, but I don't like working with decimals, so I'm going to turn this to a whole number. I'm going to move the decimal and turn this to a whole number. So 780 divided by 75. Let's divide that. Can 75 go on 78? One time. 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay. Can 75 go on 30? Uh, zero times at a decimal point. Can 75 go on 300? I believe it goes exactly four times. Yes, it does. So the height is 10 and 4 tenths. So if you add up the two bases, 5 and 8, do half of that times the height, you'll get 78. So let's just make sure you really do understand this. Because I know area of trapezoid is one of the harder things. So use the magnifying glass to check. Oh, 
So let's see if I can do this in my head. I added the two bases, 2 and 3, that's 5. Half of 5 is 2.5, times the height is 2 is 5. Yep, oh, that's error. I added the two bases, 1 and 2 is 3. Half of 3 is 1.5. 1.5 times 4, hmm, that's to be 3. No, it's actually 6. Let me see why I got this wrong. I let, you know what? Stop doing your head. A equal half of the base 1 plus base 2 times height. So the base 1 is 2 and 1. Height is 4. Half of 3. Oh, yes. Half of 3. Half of 3 is 1.5. 1.5 times 4 is exactly 6. That makes more sense. And this one, you add up the two bases. That would be 10.5. Half of 10.5 is 5 and a quarter. Times the height of 3. That would be 15 and 75 hundredths. And that is correct. So again, to find the area of a trapezoid, you just add up the two bases. Then you do times the um, half of it times the height. Area of the trapezoid.